Hi there, welcome to VA Consulting Pro. This video is specifically for all the Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Excel users. We love Excel and we always want to export the data in Excel from Microsoft Power BI. Until now, many users are always complaining that you can only export up to 150,000 rows of data from Microsoft Power BI to Excel. But in this video, I'm gonna let you know something different. That means I'm going to let you know a way that you can download up to 500,000 rows of data from Microsoft Power BI Visuals. But how to do that? What are the limitations? And what are the requirements to do that? Everything you will get to know in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. In order to utilize this feature, first of all, you have to log in into your Microsoft Power BI service where you have to head over to any of your report from where you are going to select certain visual and that data you would like to analyze in Excel. Till now, there is only one option available. That means if you are going to click on your any of the report, I have clicked on my one of the demo file and here you would go to this export option on the top bar and there is an option analyze in Excel. You can simply click on it and after that it's going to create one excel file for you and then you can open it and you can start analyzing data where you will get one pivot table and then you can drag and drop and you can experience the same over there but as i mentioned previously there is a huge group of power bi user who were always asking that they need to analyze more and more data in excel for example if i'll click on these three dots where it says more options then you would see the option export data and if you are trying to export the data then you can only export up to 150,000 rows of data in Excel. But what's going to change now? Well, according to the recent release by Microsoft Power BI team, now you can analyze up to 500,000 rows of data. But how to do that and whether it's going to work for you or not, what are the requirements that everything I'm going to let you know in this video. So first of all, you have to do the same operation and over here, you would just click on this drop down and you would notice over here one option, which is saying Excel with live connection, 500,000 rows maximum. That means you can analyze your data in your Excel file up to 500,000 rows of data. But as you can see that you don't have the right permission to use this option. Trust me, I have all the right permissions to do that. So what are the permissions that you are going to require? I'm going to let you know now. First of all, you should have a build permission on this data set. So I'm the admin of this workspace, so I have already that permission. Number second, you should have a Power BI Pro or Premium license to analyze this. Or if you are using Premium, then the free users also can take advantage of this. So I have that one too. The third requirement is that into your admin settings, I'm going to cancel it now. So you have to go to your admin portal and over there you have certain tenant settings and then if you would come down there are some export and sharing settings. So where you would find this export to Excel as well which is enabled. Now let's go to another very important setting which is by XMLA. So here you can see that allow XMLA endpoint and analyze in Excel with on-premises data sets. I have enabled that too. So everything you can see that I have all the right permissions. If I'll go to the workspace accesses you can see that I have this admin access over there so that means i have all the required accesses but don't worry about this guys microsoft is planning to release this feature in steps so this is going to be available very soon to you and this is going to be the one of the most important and highly effective feature in microsoft power bi in 2023 with the help of this you can analyze your data into your excel file like a simple table and also, please don't note that when you are going to download this Excel file, you are going to get the live connection. That means you can refresh your data from your Excel file itself. Okay, how that's going to work? Okay, for that, I have to show you the Microsoft documentation where I'll let you know what you can do. So, so guys, now I'm on Microsoft announcement page where you can see that this feature has been released in public preview, which is on 20th of January 2023. But as I showed you that this feature is still not highlighted. I have tested it on different systems with a different account, but it is still not highlighted. I'm sure in the coming weeks, it's going to be available for everyone. And also Microsoft Power BI desktop app updates for January is already available. If you would like to download the latest Microsoft Power BI desktop app, you can download it for free. Now let's go down and here it's showing that how do I export live Power BI data to Excel, which I already showed you. You just need to click on the options and there you are going to get this pop-up where you can say, okay, I want to download with live connection for up to 500,000 maximum rows from any visual. Once you download that, then you are going to get one Excel file, very similar to that you generally get when you analyze data in Excel. 
so please get that and you have to enable the editing over there and also you have to enable the contents over there once you do that you are gonna get this kind of table it is a very same table that you get generally in your excel when you just put some data over there so there is no difference in that however the main point over here are the headers so please do note that these headers are basically all the filters that you have applied on that particular visual while creating that report so please do remember that what are the headers over here now coming down you can also now refresh the data directly from a data set because it's a live connection and if you need to refresh your data you can simply go to your data tab there you will find queries and connections and once you are going to do that you are going to get a side panel on your right hand side as you can see on your screen or you can also right click on your screen and just say refresh the data so the both way you can do that not only that if you are an advanced power bi user and you would like to take the dex query you can also get it from the properties window and you are going to get this dex query which you can use in your dex studio to analyze it further to improve it so totally up to you what you want to do with that that's how you can analyze more than 500,000 rows of data in Microsoft Power BI. And I'm damn sure this feature is going to help you a lot. And also all the queries that you receive from your vendors or your end user that, okay, I want to analyze the data only in Excel, how to do that. I'm not able to export more than 150,000 rows of data in Excel. So how to overcome this limit, et cetera, et cetera. So with the help of this feature, you can do that. And I'm damn sure that you are going to love this feature. If you have any concern and question, please don't forget to write in the comment section. And also, if you are over here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Microsoft Power BI updates and videos. See you in the next video.